Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, Secretary, for being here today. Uh, Mr. Secretary, I represent a portion of the Northeast, Pike, Wayne, and Monroe counties. Beautiful area in the Northeast, uh, a little bit under snow right now, but uh, we need that in moderation. Uh, and this week, we went. I attended a Pike County Economic Development Banquet where we discussed some of the uh, the pros and cons of marketing Pike County to outside businesses for for, for growth and industries. Uh, and we we talked about some of the challenges that we have. Uh, again, you know in the competitive market that we have against basically New York and New Jersey. Now, I understand the worldwide market is also out there, but really we, we are, you know, competitive against New York, New Jersey, and again, there's pros and cons. Uh, but one of the issues was New Jersey, uh, uh, stronger than the storm. I mean, they came out and just barraged our area with, with a campaign. I mean, I see the ads in Harrisburg, I see them in the Northeast. Uh, New York, uh, less touristy, but they have a very pro-business, pro-manufacturing ad, which again, is very tastefully done. Uh, someone from our appropriation staff said, once you see that commercial, you, you want to go live in New York. There's people welding, there's people working. Uh, it's, a, it's, it's a good feeling commercial. It's done very well. And it just happened that four people looked at me across the aisle and said, Mike, you know, why, why are we not doing that in Pennsylvania? Why are we not you know, promoting our, our energy resource? Why are we not promoting our quality schools? Why are we not promoting our low individual income tax rates so we can bring those pass-through pass businesses and, and small corporations to, to, to the Pocono region? Um, I just wanted to, you know, kind of get your response to that and basically ask you if there's any money in that, that PA first, if, if there's any ad campaign such as that taking effect in, in the near future. You know, when I first saw that New York ad, I thought they've, ca they've copied our KOZ. My second reaction was the tax climate is so bad in New York State that they have to do ads like that. I mean, they have to give a 10-year tax abatement to get anybody to even look at New York State. And from my perspective in this job, if New York State and New Jersey are our competition, we're going to win every time because the, the tax structure in those states is so bad. I I'm surprised that New York would would subsidize a campaign like that. I, I, I think that campaign is $50 million, but it's not targeted. And in Pennsylvania, we're trying to really target messages like you're talking about to site selection people and people who can really make a difference. Because you can spend a pile of money on a TV uh, campaign and it's, and it's not targeted. The interesting thing will be what's their success rate going to be. Right, and, and I think that's, you know, we're talking to Representative Mustio before about, you know, the, this is the new Pennsylvania. We're no longer the old Rust Belt Pennsylvania. Uh, we're the new Pennsylvania. And I think we need to get that out there with, um, again, it, it, we, we don't know the outcomes. And, and to hear you say that you're, 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 you're focusing on uh, industry, industries which are, you know, favorable in our environment, I think that's uh, important to us. Um, along those lines, those ads, though, also promote tourism. I mean, another another way of reaching people to say, hey, look, uh, there's state parks in Pennsylvania, there's battlefields, there's beautiful cities, there's sports venues. Um, there's, there's a really good, happy feeling from that New York commercial. And maybe, again, maybe because their policies are so poor and, and they need to do that, but I'll tell you what, uh, it makes, makes people, you know, think pretty highly of New York when you, when you watch it. Well, if somebody would give me $50 million to run a campaign like that, I could add an awful lot of jobs in Pennsylvania. I'm just not sure it's the best use of money. Uh, but we are going to come up with uh, a, a new slogan. My, mine was, uh, there's a new energy in Pennsylvania, but nobody liked that. So uh, I think we're going to focus on Pennsylvania is built to advance because, um, I mean, we have uh, an incredible infrastructure. And with our new energy, I mean, we're really ready to move forward. And Pike County and Wayne County, Monroe County are beautiful counties, and, and they have to figure out how to collectively market that region. Well, and that's some of the challenges we face. I mean, we, we face those challenges that we don't have the infrastructure in place, and a lot of that is local issues, and I understand that. But a lot of the infrastructure you're talking about, we don't have, and, and you know, that's something that we have to work through. But, uh, you know, again, competing against New York, New Jersey, I mean, you watch that commercial and you think, you know, wow, this is, this is a place I want to be. This is a place where I want to raise my family. This is a place I want to grow and get a job. And, and I, I see Pennsylvania as, as that, that state. I mean, we, we are missing the boat here because whatever they're promoting, I, I think we can promote, promote it better. Uh, part of that's also tourism. I mean, I, I, I know um, our local tourism dollars from the hotel tax go to promote tourism, and we do it on a regional basis, and we do it on, on more of a, uh, a, a direct uh, marketing campaign, but uh, 
boy, I think you could put a commercial together in 30 seconds promoting Pennsylvania that would just uh, be fantastic. If there were a painting done of Washington crossing the Delaware today, it would be him bringing jobs from New Jersey over into Pennsylvania. <laughs> <laughs> because we are really getting our share. Uh, I, I, I would... I would, I guess maybe the governor of Pennsylvania and Governor Christie are friends, but Governor Christie probably has reason to really dislike us because we, that giant sucking sound right now is Pennsylvania taking jobs out of New Jersey. We're doing very well against New Jersey because if you look at their tax rate, especially their property tax rate, it, it's, it's, it's just out of sight. So if that's our competition moving forward, we're going to do extremely well. Well, and we've got to work hard locally too. But thank you, Mr. Secretary. Thank, thank you. you.